Hi, my name is Frank Valintic, Director and Buyers and Vendors Advocate of Advantage Property Consulting. We're often asked whether buying in a school zone is a smart investment strategy. Well, it can be. Uh, like any strategy, it has its pros and cons. When you're buying in one of the good school zones, you can pay a premium price of between about 100,000 up to about 600,000. So some popular school zones include the University High School around Parkville, where you're nearly paying 600,000 more inside the zone, McKinnon High School zone and Baldwin High, where you're paying around 350,000 above when they're outside the zone. And then you've got other schools such as South Yarra Primary School, uh, around 300,000 uh, inside the zone and Cheltenham High School around 180,000. So there can be a very big difference and you've got to look at the pros um, and your own financial situation. So obviously the big pro is the saving on private school fees. Now private school fees can amount to about a million dollars for two kids over the uh, 13 year journey uh, through school. So it can be a significant saving See for three kids, it can be around one and a half million, depending on the schools. And you know, if you have got a bigger family, it can financially add up. If you've got one child, it probably won't be as much um, of a, a right financial decision to look at buying school zones. So looking at the um, school zones situation, they can obviously present uh, more capital growth in the future because there's always going to be more demand for those properties for rental and for resale as uh, lots of buyers will be attracted to that. You've got to be careful not to buy on the fringes of the school zones because if the population grows in that area and the school shrinks the zone, um, you could find you've paid a premium price for that property and then you're out of the school zone, which is gonna affect your property's value. There's always uh, more buyers for properties in school zones and I like them to properties that have a view, like a bay view or a city view. Uh, or even a park view where you often pay 10 to 15% premium price when you buy them. Um, and when you sell them, you're generally getting that 10 to 20% premium price back. Uh, one of the uh, things that some people are doing is actually uh, renting in the school zones and buying properties in other areas. So they're able to get in without paying the premium prices in these school zones. And as long as you rent um, on a longer lease than at least a year and you've been there for at least a year, uh, then you're able to generally get into most schools. Um, hope you enjoyed the discussion on school zones. As all investment strategies, they do have their pros and cons. Uh, please don't hesitate to get on our website, check out information about our buyer's advocate, seller's advocate, property management, and our group lock purchases, as well as subscribe to our free weekly and monthly market updates. We look forward to seeing you next time.